Hello everybody. So if you didn't know from all the vlogs that I've been posting, I went to New York um, and bought a lot of sweets. Like, I think I went a little bit over the top, but I just really like to go hard or go home, do you know what I mean? Oh no! That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Yeah, why did you do that? Well, where do I, do I start with sour or sweet? Sweet. Sweet? Okay. No, there's no cinnamon, it's cherry. Oh, the cherry is nice. Okay, I'm gonna go for a strawberry. Oh yeah, I've had these before. I like these, they're good. There's nothing much to say about those. There's prawns in the fridge, isn't there? So up first we have sweet tarts, which I don't actually know what they are. I have no idea what type of, I've never really seen them. I've heard of them, but I don't know what, it just says chewy, so. They are not what I thought they would look like. Did I try a pink one? Oh! Have you tried these? They're so good. You don't like them? I've better. They are not my anticipated at all. Oh! It kind of tastes like chewing gum. They're very good. Oh, I really like those. Okay, up next we have high chew. Something I love about American sweets is the flavours. They have like all the berry flavours. There's not really much lemon and orange and I don't really like lemon and orange sweets. I think they're the worst sweet flavour you could possibly get. We've got green apple and we've got strawberry and these are all individually packaged. Green apple is a vibe. I've never heard of these ones. Let's see. Oh, they look weird. Come on then. Come on. <laughs> they look so weird. Come on. Up here. Come on, Banks. Come on, you stupid donuts. Up you here. Want one? Look. Here. She's coming, her paws were getting ready then. She's coming. Come on. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Come on. She's coming. Let's see. If you want it, you gotta get it. Come on. You want to try one of these? Come on. Here, Banks. Here. She's coming. Mate. Do you want a sweet? It's like a mixture of a Moam and yeah. a Starburst. Bit weird but good at the same time. These ones Jesse and Chloe were so into. Although they're hard candy. So I feel like I should wait till the end for those because I think they said it's best to suck them. I actually uh, withheld from eating any sweets on holiday for this very taste test because I wanted my authentic review. These are called Trolley Sour Bite Crawlers and these are very berry. Are you ready? Oh, I'm not sure I like the smell of that. Blue raspberry and berry punch. This is what it looks like. It's a little... Do you know what's weird about sour sweets in America? They say sour and they're not. They're like the equivalent of tangfastics in sourness. Or maybe I've just become immune to sour because I used to have so many sour sweets when I was younger. They're good flavour wise. Um, but I feel like I would like a tougher texture, if you know what I mean. This is what I'm hoping, that these come through with the sour. It's got the word extreme on it. I'm feeling hopeful. Oh, that stinks. That smells of Marzi pad. Not sour. Why are they not sour? Like, they taste fine and they taste nice and fruity. I mean, there is a bit of... A bit of a weird flavour. Also, I love the fact that they've got resealable bags. And we have some Starburst gummy sours. Now, I think Starburst are like way more of a thing in America. And I love that. Um, because I feel like Starburst get, get tarnished in the UK with being like a boring sweet. I do love them though. And I feel like they deserve more praise than they get. So these... Again, they smell like that. There's like an underlying marzipan smell. I love sour sweets. Why aren't they sour? Don't get me wrong, they're good sweets. They're just not sour. Where I can get sour from? These. These are called Sour Punch. So I'm hoping that they're sour because stop promising me things and they're not delivering, do you know what I mean? I feel confident about this. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they're gonna be my favorite ones so far. Okay, they're sour. Mm, they're good. Actually, texture, impeccable, yeah. I'm into it. This is what I've been the most excited for. Okay, these, right. America just does everything in a million different variations and I love it. I love it. They have so many different M&M flavors, as I said with the Starburst, and 
skittles now we literally have about three different types of skittles they have been branching out in recent years they brought out a chewy one a friend at school used to come back from dubai and used to get me these sour skittles they had in dubai and they were next level they're my favorite sweets and i've not had them since i've been about year 10 because i haven't seen that friend in ages and this looks like the ones they have in dubai they're like sour and then they have a little sugar coating on so i'm really hoping they taste like the ones in Dubai, because if they do, I'm going to, I don't know, I wish it looks like them. Excuse me. They're actually not allowed on the table. You won't like this, it's sour. Yeah, I thought so. That's so weird, that's so, I mean, they're not like the ones in Dubai. But I'm just going to leave her there, because let's be real, she's not hurting anyone. Are you hurting anyone? No, so you're chill there, aren't you? They're good, but they're so different. From the sour skittles, that one was sour. I believe the sour skittles in Dubai, they were the same sa they were the same flavour as ones as the sour ones in the UK. But these are just normal skittles, but they've it's quite rude. But thank you. Um, but they've got a sugar coating on. Not as good as the ones in Dubai. We're gonna go for bottle caps. Now Jesse bought these thinking there was something different and he said he was really disappointed by them. He really, really loved these. These were like his favourite thing, which I agree they're really good. Um, but he was not a fan of the bottle caps. So Oh I like those. What they taste like? Mmm. I'm actually really like those. No, oh, I really like those. Oh, he's had a cola flavour. I think I like the cherry one. I, oh, I do like that one. Because I don't like root beer, but I just want to try it. That's grape. Oh, I don't like that. I only like the cherry one in that, I think. I've never had these. Oh my gosh, I love that! One sweet. That is incredible. But then if you want many, you can go... I want to see the packaging. Incredible. Looking green apple. It's okay. I feel like I really would have liked that when I was 12. But I'm not really the biggest fan of it now. It's okay. Up next, we're going to do an airhead. Now, I think I have tried a blue raspberry one before, but I've never had any of the other flavours. There's this flavour in here called White Mystery. Now, I couldn't find these the whole holiday, and then on the last day I found them, and I knew it was destiny. I knew it was meant to be. Okay, we've got a White Mystery. Oh my gosh, it is actually white. Gosh, what is it? Right, let's take a guess. Grape. Are all the White Mysteries the same flavour, or is every White Mystery flavour a different flavour? What are you? What? are you i cannot for love nor money work out what that is i'm gonna say that for my family because maybe they'll help me that was a white mist that was an absolute mystery that was i'll give it to them have absolutely no clue what that is <gasps> there's another one okay the next two things are themed foods because i feel like america does theme things so well like everything was so autumnal there and at christmas i know it gets christmasy i feel like every season they bring out snacks for the season i think that is tremendous i think england could quite frankly learn a lesson from it because let's get behind the seasons, you know what I mean? I feel like M&M's could do like a Christmas pack. And I feel it's the product developer in me, I'll tell you. I just think they're really missing a marketing trick here in England. Marshmallow Peep Monsters. Now I've heard so much about Peeps and I've never had one in my life. And I'm so intrigued what it's going to be like. And then we also have candy corn. People in vlogs are always like, no one actually eats candy corn from American vlogs. So maybe I'll like it. Maybe it's a British type of food. Three little Frankens. I feel like, I feel like they're me, my brother and sister. Oh, they're just marshmallows. It just tastes like a flump. Oh, I like that. It's not too offensive. It's just literally like, oh, it's quite a good marshmallow too. Do you know what? It was really cute aesthetically. Weirdly enough, I did not think I would like these because they're just marshmallows. But sometimes it's the classics that you've got to do right. Oh, they smell a bit, again, they smell a bit like marshmallow. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. It's autumnal mix. So it's actually got pumpkins in there. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I just don't, I can't even anticipate. Does it taste like corn? Autumn flavours? Do you know what that is? I've got it. That's icing, isn't it? I don't know how you could eat any more than about four of those. That is, I can imagine being like maxed out after two. Next, we're going to try the two hard boiled sweets. We've got life savers and i've also got jolly ranchers now i've tried oh i like the blue raspberry so i'm going to try a different flavor a green apple moment who who am i i love that jolly ranchers you know how it's done oh that's so good 
Okay, now I'm gonna try the Lifesavers, which I guess are kind of similar. They're like individually wrapped polos. That is so weird. I wonder why they're called Lifesavers. I much prefer a Jolly Rancher, but they are Jesse's favorite takeaway from the holiday. So it just shows that taste is a, uh, what do you call it? Taste is a uh, subjective. Okay, we've kind of gone through those actually at rapid speed. We're now gonna try a chocolatey type thing. Now I did notice, and most of their dark chocolate actually have milk fats in, which means I can't eat it. But I did want to try something chocolatey. So I've gone for these Junior Mints, which look like our version of After Eights in like a little counter. Creamy Mints in pure chocolate. So we're gonna see. Also I love these boxes that they do. I just think they're wonderful, aren't they? They're like little mint straws. They're minty. Quite good, but that is way mintier than our After Eights. Or it's just like a different type of mint. Oh, I quite like them. It's so soft, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I can get behind that. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that my favorite thing is probably Jolly Ranchers, and they're something I've tried before. I've had a good, oh, actually these were really good, these Sweet Tart Minis. I really wasn't a fan, however. I'm actually saying these, because they were the biggest disappointment. Like, they're not that bad, but I just was expecting more. But, I had a good time. I feel like our sweets are so different here in the UK. So, I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know your favorite American sweet, or let me know if you're from another country, what is your all-time favorite sweet that you think I should try? What country's sweets or delicacies do you think I should try next? I've had a good time. I hope you've had a good time. Peace out. Love you loads.